prep for your upward or downward transitions because you tend to get there and you go, now! <laughs> so we need a little bit more prep for that. So let's go ahead and we'll start off. We're going to jog down the, the long side to, and come up the center line at A. I, I just want to see you come up the center line. Because you want to ask him to bend when he comes up the center line. So that means you're going to have to keep your inside thigh on, turn your hips and seat, half halt, half halt, keep turning, raise your inside hand. That was a little bit better turn. Now you feel yourself drifting. You're sitting over here. He's drifting over there. Sit in the middle. So you can't allow yourself to fall away from the direction of travel. So, so as you turn that corner, then you kind of you got some bend, but then you kind of started going over here, and then he kind of did this too, didn't he? So step on your inside foot when you do that turn. So let's go down and do it again. Same, same direction. So turn right. So half halt means squeeze back left rein, squeeze back left rein, step on your right stirrup, step on your right stirrup, raise your left hip up, left hip up, don't lean, don't lean, just stay in the middle of the horse, your shoulders are over here, your hips are shooting off there, stay in the middle of the horse. Shoulders level over your hips, shoulders over your hips, shoulders over your hips. See, okay, go ahead and halt just like you are there. So what you are doing here, go ahead and close your eyes straight ahead and I'm gonna put you back in position. You have fallen this up here, that over there. Pick this hip up, there you go. Do you feel like you're in the middle of the horse? Or do you feel crooked? That's closer to the middle of the horse right there. Maybe a little bit too much here. Just relax, right about there. Because what you do is you collapse. When you collapse this way, you try to fix it by moving your shoulders over here. So now instead of being straight in the horse, you go here and there to make it better. Your hips need to stay square in the middle of the horse with your shoulders over your hips. Let's make sure. Yep, stirrups look fine. So let's go ahead and turn right again. We're going to do that jog and up the center line again. And try to keep your shoulders directly over your hips. Shoulders directly over your hips. Over your hips, over your hips, over your hips, over your hips. Over your hips, yeah, there you go. Relax your right shoulder, it's sticking in your ear. <laughs> there, yeah, good, good, track left. Good, shoulders stay level. Now he needed a little bit of prepping and bending for that, didn't he? Kind of like had to almost break into a walk to do it. Let's come up the center line from this direction. Right shoulder is in your ear again, relax it. Good, sit in the middle, don't let your shoulders fall to the right. Don't let your shoulders go right, I'll move, I'll move. Okay, you're tilting to the right like a teapot. Lift your right side rib cage. Yeah, start that turn one stride sooner. So turn left at E and come up the center line. Or half circle left at E up the center line. And we're going to track left there at C, but we're going to plan ahead for that turn. So prepare, 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 start turning, 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 turning. Now, instead of lowering your hand on your turn, pick your hand up. Let's try it again. Hand up. You're holding two triple-decker ice cream cones. 
Don't let the dips roll off. Pick your left hand up to take a slick off your dips. Hand up, down. Raise it up and down. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Good. Now make a turn. Lift up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. See, you want to do this. I want you to do this. So we're going to prepare to turn, and you lift to turn. Left hand up and turn. Yeah, you feel like you turned a little bit smoother that time? Because you weren't. It was a better turn. Because he came around without losing forward momentum. So lift to turn onto the center line. Lift and turn. And lift and turn. And lift and turn. Yeah. Good. Stay in the middle. And walk. So it's, and I know at first you have to overdo it just to get used to the fact that your hand can do this. But that is better because before you kind of had like, like you stomped on the brake too hard and he was almost going to stop and then he went again. So we want it to be smoother. Okay, let's see. We did it. And we want to create more bending, which is done with the hand lift like I showed you and keeping your inside thigh against the horse. So. Let's pick up a working jog, 20 meter circle. Lift occasionally. B, 20 meter circle. Okay, you gotta come bigger because that still would have been shallow, right? You gotta make it just past those letters because they are not positioned at 12 meter intervals currently. They are positioned to make the arena fit. So you have to come past them. Pretend like there is no P and no V. A little closer to me still. So I am going to be your other point on your circle. So you're going to touch A. You're going to touch by the window there. You're going to plow into me now. Keep turning. Keep turning, keep aiming for me, and then turning to the window. OK, does that feel more even in shape? Good. Good, now let's come down to B Bravo for our 20 meter circle. So just ignore those additional letters on the wall, mostly. Raise your hand slightly. Do a small 10 meter circle now. Raise your hand. Lift to turn. Lift and turn. Lift it. Lift your hand. Lift your hand. Don't reach forward. Just lift. Just lift. 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 Up. Up. It's like posting. Your hand gets to post. Lift up, put down. Lift up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Up. Down. Don't twist your head so much. Up, down, up, down. Keep your chin over the middle of your chest. Good. Now complete your 20 meter circle to E. Yeah. So every time you have that urge to steer by pulling out sideways and or down, try to go a little up so his shoulder stays up out of the way and he can bend and come around. Because if you're pulling down, he's going to tilt like a bad motorcycle. Yep, get his attention on you. Say, hey, motorcycle, stay here. E, 15 meter circle with the leg yield. Yeah. Gently raise, bend your elbows. And now sidewards. Heel down, heel down, heel down, leg long, heel down. Let's go around and do that again. Because when you scrunch your leg up, you push your bottom off the right hand side of the saddle. You don't want to do that. You want to keep as long a leg as you can for this leg yield. So, 15 meter half circle. Now, heel down, and 
down, push with your thigh and ankle bone, heel down. That's it, that's it, lean back, lean back, lean back, lean back, lean back, lean back. I like that better because you kept your leg in position. So we're gonna go do it again. And I want you to think for that sideways that you are walking on a balance beam and you need to cross your left leg in front of the horse's chest to stay on the balance beam. So cross your leg and cross your leg and cross your leg and cross your leg and cross your leg, cross your leg, cross your leg and cross your leg. Better. It'll get easier. You're not used to having to do that movement. So we're going to do an additional one of those. And I'm going to encourage you to get there quicker by being in your way. Or maybe I'm encouraging him. <laughs> so leg down, leg down, leg down. Open your right rein. Leg down, just for a second, just for a second. Come up the quarter line. So throw him a little slack. And then you think a little sideways from there, your thigh and knee, thigh and knee. Open the rein, use your knee. Open the rein. Yes, 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 that got better. Yeah, do that again on the next quarter line. So it's your kneecap that asks him to go. Here, go in the hole. Here, go in the hole. Here, go in the hole. Whoa, that's much nicer. Was that easier? Very good. And you know, you didn't have to scrunch your leg up and stick it behind your ear. Let's go ahead and let him walk a second. Good. So we always want to do things so our legs can stay long. We don't want to tighten and scrunch things up. And our kneecaps are very handy for saying, here's a hole, go in it. Here's a hole, go in it. Let's change rain as you're walking and letting him catch his breath a minute. Good boy. Good boy. Good. So now if I asked you to make him leg yield towards me, how would you do that? You'd open the rein and use that left knee to shove him in the hole. So give that a try. Sit back and up. Don't twist your hands. Two ice cream cones. Yeah. Ice cream cones. Sit back. Yes. And just use that knee. Open the rein and use the knee. Then Yes. Yes. The reason why I say open the rein is so that the rein is not resting against his neck, acting like a doorstop or a gate. So when you give him that little tiny bit of room, you get that little airspace between the rein and the neck, and he, it encourages him then from your knee to step into the hole. So let's try again. Hands up. Hold your ice cream dips. Open that rein and use your left knee. Open the rein and use your left knee. Open the rein and use your left. Now that's pretty simple, isn't it? Wow, very good. And you know, this is the harder direction to do that leg yield, and you do it beautifully. <laughs> so that's your timing. That was excellent. Does that feel a lot easier to get him to do it that way? Good. Then let's pick up a little working jog. because we're going to get to do some the other way. It's going to be the same thing, except for, of course, now it's going to be your right knee that has to tell him where to go. And your left hand that's going to give him a little bit of airspace to step into. Hold your triple dippers, 15 meter half circle at B. Hands up. There you go. Turn you to turn him, but not your head. So, throw him a rein, give him a hole, step him into it. 
give him a hole, step him into it with your knee. Knee, knee, knee. There you go. You, you are trying hard not to use your heel to do that. <laughs> but now we're letting the other side of your body know how to do it. So let's try it again. Sit back, bend your elbows, carry your own hands. Because if he's carrying you, he shouldn't have to carry your hands too. Good. Give him a little room, push him in the hole with your thigh and hip. Thigh, hip, hand, left hand up. Keep your, keep your hand in the same position. Yeah, if you twist your hand, you've changed the way it feels to him. So you can't twist your hand, you have to just slide it. You're sliding across the surface. B, again, 15 meter half circle. So, carry your triple dippers. Pass that triple dipper to the wall and push with your hip and thigh. Push it. Yep, sit back, sit back. Open, push, open, push, open, push. Good. Come down your quarter line. Open, push, open, push, open, push. Heel down, heel down, right shoulder back. There, there, there. Good. Let's do that again. You've almost got this figured out. It's convincing your body. Hands up. Open, push, open, push, open, push, open, push. There you go. That was it, wasn't it? Good job. I like that one. Quarter line. And again, open, push, open, push, open, push, open, push, open, push, open, push. If he feels like he's losing energy, you can cluck to him. Let's do a stretchy circle at A. Yep, encourage him. Tickle him with the left rein, just a little jiggle, jiggle, wiggle to keep him down and thinking that way. Because if they're just loopy slacking, he's not going to continue to think down. E, 20 meter stretching circle. So don't throw him so much rein that it's like double dunch jump rope. You've got to feel it down. So tickle him with the left rein, wiggle those fingertips. Give him a little bit of rein, wiggle those fingertips. Wiggle the fingertips, give them a little rain, wiggle the fingertips, left rain, left touch, yes, left touch, keep turning your hips, left touch, left touch, keep coming around it again, left touch, give him a little rain, touch the left rein, give him a little bit more length and touch the left rein, give him a little bit more length and touch the left rein. Yeah, now pick up those reins. Good, kind of straighten him out a little bit in the neck. Touch outside rein, he's a little braced. Between F and A, working canter. A, 20 meter circle, working canter. I kind of needed a little bit better preparation. It looked like you were trying to canter through frozen molasses. And your circle was small. So working jog, getting put together at the working jog. You're racy, racy, racy. Slow down. Keep your balance. Yeah, remember, you got to make it past this PV line in this arena. There is no PV. They're invisible. There's me at the other end of your circle. That, OK. Just, just jog. We're going to give him a better prep. So I want you to give three good squeezes with your left hand. Step on that right foot and lope. One, two, three, go. Step down. Yeah, don't post and fling your arms forward. Get him rebalanced. And your outside leg also has to slide back. 
So prepare, 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 leg back, step down, and go, canter. Canter, canter. Set him up. Go, go, go. Now, right now, you're just leaning back and asking him to trot bigger. You have to take this outside rein a little bit so that he doesn't continue to take the big step with his left front leg. So take the left rein and canter. Left leg back. Okay, well, you can go ahead and come get your whip. <laughs> so you have to remember to pick up the lope. You have to break the jog rhythm. Because if all you do is drive in the jog rhythm, you told him to lengthen the gait. That purpose is your outside left hand telling that left shoulder to slow down. And the change in your balance of weighting your inside seat bone, inside shoulder slightly back. Hands can't be dear. Carry, don't bury. Yeah. And jog. So, left rein and lope. Oh, that was nice. It must be because you've got a bad weapon with you, huh? <laughs> Bigger circle, too, too shallow. Got to direct him. He's got to go to the wall, left rein. He's got to go to me. Got to go to the wall. Got to keep a little bit more balance on him. Keep your reins. Don't lean. Sit tall. Lift your mid back. Lift the middle of your back. Sit taller with the middle of your back. Yes. 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 Keep that mid back up. Bend your right elbow. Bend your right elbow. Touch your left rein. Bend your right elbow and touch your left rein. Inside elbow is really doing this. Inside elbow needs to stay back. Inside elbow, inside shoulder back. Sit taller. Lift the middle of your body. Lift your belly. Sit taller. Lift. Think tall. Think I am a tree. Grow up out of your hips. Straight up. Not backwards. Not backwards. Straight up. That's it. Straight up. Taller. Taller. Somebody's got a string and they're pulling it straight up out of the top of your head. Taller. Shoulders, elbows, back, and jog. Lift, abs, jog. Don't fall backwards. Don't fall backwards. I don't want you to arch your back because I want you in a neutral spine, but you're going to have to think a little bit that way because you like to kind of round and hunker down into it. Lift your ribs straight ahead. Elbows back. Bend your arms, carry your hands over the saddle, not so far in front. Then go straight down the rail. Bend your elbows, keep your hands. Yes, the hands are yours. Keep them. Keep your hands. Keep your hands. Hands closer to you. Bend your elbows. Arms back. Arms back. There. That's it. That's it. If your arms are straight, you can never give because there's nothing left to give. Elbows are back. If you need to give, you can straighten them and then take them back again. But if they're always in front of you, you can't because you've already thrown them away. Elbows back. There. Further. Pretend like you want your elbows behind your back. Elbows behind your back. Hands can't get in front of the saddle horn. How's that? Think of it that way. Yes. Yes. Hands can't go forward of, of the saddle horn. Yes. Good. Hands can't go forward of the saddle horn. Half halt or squeeze back, left hand. Yes. Now we're going to do our lope circle again. Don't let those arms run away. Keep them back. Yeah, put handcuffs from that saddle horn to your hands. Hands back. Almost arch your back. Almost arch your back. Think taller. Arms back. Yeah, you can't stare if your arms are falling too far forward. Elbows back. Up to his tail. Lift up tall. Lift up tall. Lift up tall. Sit taller. Yes. 
There you go. There you go. Elbows back. Prepare and jog. Elbows back. Don't reach forward. Go all the way to the other end of the ring. Elbows back. Don't let them get in front of the saddle. Lift your ribs. You're collapsing. Taller. Taller. Make yourself six inches taller. Yes! Good job! And walk. That was good. You just have to remember this middle box, your belly, your abs, they have to be up. They can't be this way. They, you just kind of collapse a little bit this way and you need to be this way, rib cage up. And your elbows need to be here with you because when they're in front of you, you've thrown them away. You can't really negotiate anything with him because you, you gave him everything. If they're back over your saddle with your elbows bent, if you need to ask, give him a little bit of room, you just let your arm slide forward and then you bring it back to neutral. So neutral position for your arms is elbows back here, almost like your forearm is going to be rubbing against your sides which puts your elbows slightly behind you. Otherwise, you go this way and collapse. We're going to change direction, M to E. Does it, can you feel the difference when you get your arms back? His gates get better too, because now you're more balanced over him. He can sit on his butt more and keep a better balance than he can when you will collapse and reach forward. Then he's like a little wheelbarrow heading down that little incline. You always want to ride a horse in an uphill balance, like you're going up the mountain, not like you're coming down the other side. Any questions? Okay. I'm clear as mud. I got it. <laughs> we'll let him walk a little further. And when you get around by E echo, we'll pick up a jog. And at A, working lope somewhere down there and 20 meter circle. Keep your arms back, set him up and go. Batter. Good. Hands have to hover right over the top of your saddle. Good. Lift the middle box of your, with your belly and your back. Your rib cage needs to come up off of your hips. Bigger circle, it's too shallow. Rib cage up off of your hips. Good. Remember, you got to come past that PV. Almost to me. Batter. Try, try another foot or two towards me. Rib cage up. Carry your hands. Ice cream cones. Yeah, that's your 20 meter circle line way up there. Good. Sit hands up. Carry your hands. Ribs. Yeah, you fell behind him. You kind of fell back and he said, this is a good time to jog. Lift your ribs up. Ribs up. Elbows back. Ribs up. 